Hi guys, today I have a different kind of video for you, one I haven't done before. It's an unboxing of a subscription box called Witch Casket. I know a lot of you follow me for my crafting process videos, so you may or may not find this interesting, but since this is my first subscription box and something right up my alley genre, I wanted to share my unboxing with you. I did think long and hard about subscribing to this in December because my monthly income is very small so I have to be careful. But I felt a bit low at the end of 2023 and I really wanted to try this so I treated myself. And it arrived a few days ago so join voice over me as I open this witchcraft themed goodie box. I'm immediately impressed with the box. It's got the logo printed on the front and a really nice little lock print on the front of it. I love that they added their logo to the inside of the box because that could have just been plain black, but it looks really nice, nice quality. So the first thing that we see is the little leaflet that includes everything and I love the illustrations on this, it's really nice. I won't read everything out but if you want to you can pause the video so you can read any um, information throughout this video. So the little leaflet is telling us the contents of the box and what we can use them for which is really nice. My eyes like to pick up little things like I like the fonts used here and the recurring illustrations bordering the uh, information. This is nice. I like when boxes uh, are in touch with their community and they show that in their products somehow so we've got some photos here that other people have taken of previous boxes that's nice to see this is a, a great art print i really dig the style um, i'm sorry my voice seems to be getting croakier as the video goes along <laughs> i'm not sure why anyway here on the back we have a monthly manifestation so we can write uh, our goals and the steps we can take to reach these. This is a nice little addition to a print. It makes it a practical print and I like that. This, this was gorgeous. I really had no idea what to expect in these boxes. I've, I've watched other people unbox theirs, but this was really nice. I've never seen anything like this little book before. I really appreciate the detail that they've put into this. It's very nice and the cover feels really nice in your hand as well. Definitely an addition to any witch themed household for sure. It just, it really does feel nice in your hand. Really, really nice material. And can I also just add that I really love the black edges of the pages. That's really nice detail. This is a little paper bag with items inside. I tried to take the sticker off without damaging it, but that wasn't possible, so I did end up ripping it. I don't know why, but I try and preserve stickers. It's not, I don't always succeed, but I try. Oh, this is nice. So this is the kit that was mentioned in the little leaflet so we've got a white candle a bag of quartz crystals i need to double check that lovely little bag that they're in i really like that sorry for my dry wrinkly hands there i've got some medication that dries out my hands and my skin these are lovely little quartz crystals I'll have to read properly about their usage and how you use those in the kit. Two little packets here included in the kit. They feel like they've got a generous amount in them. 
but I haven't opened them yet, but I will do. So packet number one has mint and packet number two has dill weed. And you can read the instructions there if you want to pause the screen. And on the back is another really cool illustration. I really like that. Again, I like everything in this box so far, so you'll hear me keep saying that. The next thing I picked up was this enamel pin and it's lovely quality, but it did take my brain a second to realize the orientation of it. So I had to swivel it around. It's the illustration that was just on the back of the instructions for the little kit. It's a bubbling cauldron pot and it's lovely. You can't go wrong with pins. Pins are a great addition to any shop. So it's always nice to have that option. Again, I'm trying to preserve the sticker. I'm trying to peel the sticker away without damaging it, but I don't succeed on this one. I have to get the craft knife out. Uh, I, I love the scroll, it's so wonderfully fitting with the theme, it's, it's really nice. It's just a, a little joy that you get from, from something like this, just unscrolling a scroll. It might just be me, but I find that really, really nice. Sorry, I keep saying nice. So we have a self-empowerment ritual scroll. So you can read the instructions and use the materials provided in the box, which is great. Um, and if you read the, the the leaflet that I showed at the beginning, it says that all the spells and rituals were created by uh, the co-founder, Deb, of Witch Casket, uh, who is an experienced practicing witch, uh, and they are exclusively for Witch Casket, which is a fantastic little detail and personal attention by the creators of the box. So, I find that awesome. This little candle box contains three candles. We have a purple, green and black and on the back were the descriptions for each and the usage for each which is great. You could also see me tracing the box with my finger. I was just admiring the illustration on each of these boxes really. I really love the attention that they've given each box and the illustrations themselves are lovely. We have another crystal in this box. This one is fluorite. And as you can see on the little info card there, it absorbs negative energy and stress and encourages new ideas, learning and confidence. That will be going in my pocket. It's a beautiful crystal. Sadly, my camera seemed to find my fingers more interesting and in focus than the crystal, but you can see the colours in there. So this little box says a decorative ritual bowl. And again, I'm just admiring the design on the boxes themselves because a lot of thought went into these. We've got some instructions on the back, which is nice. There's no need for an additional info card in the box. Use the box as the card. That's great. I like that. Wow. Okay, this did make me go wow when it slid into my hand. It was... I don't know, I wasn't expecting so colourful. I mean, it's not colour colourful. It's in keeping with the theme, but it's it's awesome. I really do love that, the, the design. It's quite lightweight as well, but it doesn't feel cheap. It's, I'm not quite sure what material it's made of, but it, it looks quality. And apart from the lightness, it feels quality as well. When I picked this box up, I thought it was um, a bigger. I didn't realise there was another box underneath it. So I, I'm quite surprised by how many little items are in this box, which is a nice surprise, obviously. So this is an ornate wooden slice ritual tile. <laughs> I don't know why I had trouble getting those words out. 
Oh wow, look at the detail. That's really pretty. Really like the detail on that. It looks like that mark there might be resin in the wood that has, has come through. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. It, it looks like natural imperfections you get in wood, so I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fine. That's a really, really cool tile. Yeah, yeah I, I really like that. This next box had some weight to it. I was uh, very intrigued by that. So this is a Witch Caskets exclusive, exclusive, did I say exclusive? Exclusive spell candle holder. Mm. this this really surprised me I mean I've seen similar options in previous boxes but wow I I didn't expect something cast iron it's got a little mark um, something there on the inner rim but I guess that makes mine unique maybe nobody else has got that so this one's just for me I forget how much um, that iron or what whatever it's made of can retain uh, temperature so it was quite cold you see me touching it like wow I can't believe how cold this is because it's been in the house for a couple of hours now I want to save these boxes because they're just so well made and I really love the illustrations on each of them it feels a shame to throw them away and when I looked in the box and I saw that there were still two more boxes I was really surprised okay so we've got a magical tool used to channel and direct energy lovingly created from acacia am i pronouncing that right acacia wood known for its protective qualities hmm. ah a magic wand hmm. this is such a great quality box by the way i really like it's really random to say but it feels really nice in my hand ah okay so we have a Kind of cute little wand. I like how it's been shaped. That's different. It's been smoothed really finely. Very nice. Nice to the touch. Very soft. And I really like the little engravings of the stars. That's a nice touch. Not overdone and just the right amount. It's, it's nice. Yeah. And it looks like this is the last little box in the box. Uh, this is probably what I kept smelling throughout the unboxing. I could smell something beyond the, the mint that was also unboxed earlier. But yeah, as it says, a powerful blend of bergamot and lavender. Gotta admire the box again. <laughs> Every box, gotta admire the box. So these are incense sticks. I don't actually have any incense holders, but this gives me an excuse now to go and find a nice witchy gothic one. Um, actually, it gives me an excuse to probably buy Aurelio Voltaire's incense stick holder, which is in the shape of a coffin. Um, I think he brought that out in 2022, and I've been eyeing it up since, but now I have an excuse. There are plenty in here. They, they definitely weren't stingy with the incense sticks. There's plenty. So that's my unboxing. That's my first ever unboxing. I was really impressed by this box. I, I'm not even saying that to, to big them up or anything. I wasn't expecting anything in particular, but I was really surprised by what I did get in this box. I have seen other unboxings by other uh, YouTubers of past boxes so I knew that there would be certain things uh, repeated like the candles and um, the mint, um, the herb type things. But the 
the big, the bigger items such as that candle holder. I was hella impressed by that. I keep picking it up. There's something really pleasing about the weight of this cast iron candle holder. And to know that everything, or most things, in this box are exclusive to Witch Casket is really special because you know that you, you can't just buy this out out in the um, on the high street or anything like that. And to know that you own something that very few people do, that's always uh, special as a um, consumer, isn't it? You you like having unique things. So yes, I really enjoyed this box. I was very impressed. I do recommend it for anybody that is interested. Um, I want to say I don't know if they watched these videos but a huge thank you to Witch Casket um, and the, the two owners that, that create it. I mean they've done a wonderful job. They've done an amazing job. I mean it brought me a lot of joy to open this box up and I, I love that. That's that's priceless. So thank you Witch Casket for your your work here. And yeah, you know what? I am so glad I caved in to my wants in December, Janu early January, when I was feeling down and I just really wanted this box and I went for it. I thought, you know what, sod it. I'm going to treat myself because that's what you do when you feel a bit meh. Now, I also bought myself another subscription box from Witch Box, not Witch Casket, Witch Box. So it's another one. Yes, I felt really shitty in January. <laughs> I really, I just saw them and I really wanted them. And I thought, if I don't get them, I never will. So I did, I went for it. One of them is on credit card, so that's next month's problem. But I am, I am glad. And the, the next box arrived just after this one. So I will be doing an unboxing for that one too. So if you've watched this entire unboxing, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the items and you thought, oh, I'd like one of those. Well, tough, you can't have it. They're exclusive and it's mine. <laughs> but members who have subscribed can access the online store for Witch Casket. So they allow only members to access the store. So you can look back at the previous items and purchase some of them although a lot of them are sold out so you know if you're interested get in there quick okay enough rambling thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it please keep an eye out for the next one because i'm going to be unboxing witch box which just arrived after this one i can't wait i'm going to be doing the voiceover a little differently so that should be interesting catch me in the next one thank you guys so much bye